All right. Good morning once again, grade one. Welcome back to our math lesson. Again, this is Teacher Marv, your math teacher, and we will be continuing our lessons yesterday. Okay, of course, these are the materials that we need. First, of course, make sure that you have your math textbook, your pencil, and your eraser. Okay. So, what was our lesson yesterday? We talk about make equal shares. Okay, you can even go through with your pages. 817 to 820. Now, we will continue on page 821. Okay. So, our obje objective for today's lesson, I can determine if shapes are divided into equal shares. Okay. Let's read with me the essential understanding. A shape can be divided into equal sized shares in different ways. Okay. Can you still remember our vocabulary words? Okay, everybody say equal shares. Very good. Or equal parts. So here is some example of equal parts. Okay, the first circle, it is equally divided into two. And the last circle, it is equally divided into four. The second one, we have the first square equally divided into four. And the next is equally divided into two. And the third one is equally divided into four. The last is not. How about the triangle here below? The first one is the only triangle that is equally divided. The second is not and the third is not why because the other parts are smaller than the other like this one and the other side how about the rectangle here the first and the third it is equally divided but the second one no because the first the other part is smaller and the other part is bigger okay so let's again have some reviews of our lesson okay here we have exercises one always remember that shapes can be divided into parts or shares sometimes the shares are equal and sometimes the shares are not equal just like this one other parts are bigger and other parts are smaller but the green circle it is equally divided into four here we have here the squares the first square the shares are the same size why you can see it this and this when you fold it you can see that it is there are two equal shares how about the second square the shares are not the same size this one is smaller and this one is bigger uh, of course, there are zero equal parts. The next exercises. Okay. Which of this picture shows two equal shares or two equal parts? The first one. Very good. How about the second example? Which of this picture shows four equal parts? Just count. These are just two and this one are four. So the answer is this one. Very good. Here is another example. We have four shapes that is divided equally into many parts. And we only have, we need only to find three correct shapes. The first one, two equal parts. We have two shapes that are divided into two, but the other one is equally divided and the other one is not so which of this shape is equally divided into two of course this one so you can match it how about the three equal parts 
this one, and the four equal parts. Guess. You can guess and write the answer. Good job. Okay. Here is another example. Just count the parts and write it down. Like for example, here number one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just write here six. How about in number two? You can count with me. One, two, three, four. Of course, it is four. How about in number three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just write it here. Eight. How about in number four? Can you do in a, Can you do the number four alone? Okay, very good. Below, we are going to write whether the shape is divided into equal or not equal. How do you know it is equal? Here, you can see that the parts have the same size. How do you know if it's not equal or unequal? It means not all the parts have the same size. Okay, number five. Look at it. Of course, it is equal. Number six. Of course, it is equal. Number seven, these are smaller and this one are bigger. So you need to write here an equal. How about the number eight? Of course, it is equal. I want you to answer numbers nine to ten alone. Decide whether it is equal or unequal. Okay, you can start. Okay, so let's check your answer. Number nine, it is unequal. Number ten, good job, it is equal. Okay, you can clap your hands with your mom if your answers are correct. Okay, here is the same. You can take picture with this and write down your answer. Write down your answer, take pictures, and then send it in our group, and I will check it. Okay, I will put here activity. This is your activity alone. Answer it alone. Take picture and send it in our group. Okay, so let's move on. Here is another example. Okay, here we are going to circle the shapes in set that have equal parts and cross out the other shapes that are not equally divided okay here circle and circle this one cross out and this one cross out you can answer numbers two three and four start all right let's check your answers number two this one is correct this one is correct this one is correct this one is wrong number three this one is correct this one is wrong this one is wrong number four this one is correct this one is wrong and this one is correct are your answers answers the same with me okay very good Okay, open your book on page 821. Okay, here. Let's solve. Okay, here. Write the number of equal shares in each shape. And if the shares are not equal, write zero. Okay, number one. You can just count it. And then write down. Like for example, number one. One, two, three, four. So write four here. Okay, in number one, there are four equal shares. How about in number two? How about in number three? Okay, number two. The other sides are smaller than the other. So this one is zero zero equal shares number three one two we have two equal shares let's check your answer here you can pause the video so you can write properly 
Okay, let's move. Page 822. Number four. You are going to draw straight lines to divide the shapes into equal shares. Okay, number four. Divide the shapes into two equal shares. Number six. Make four equal shares to this shape. And number six, two equal shares. Number seven, draw a picture of a bike wheel. Draw lines to divide it into four equal shares. Number eight, has this sandwich been cut into equal shares? Tell how you know. Okay, I'll give you two minutes to do that. You can start now and then later we can check your answer okay all right okay let's check now your answers here okay so number four just draw it horizontal line number five four equal shares just put Ah, vertical and horizontal. Number six, two equal shares. You can do like this, or you can make, uh, you can draw a line from up to down, like from here until here. Number seven, okay, you can just follow the sample answer. And number eight, make sure to write down this explanation number nine okay also copy this one and number ten okay you can pause the video so you can take your time on answering your book okay what is our essential question in this lesson how do you know when a shape is divided into equal shares? Okay, so my answer, when each share is the same size. Okay, so once again, I would like you to watch and listen to this video so you can understand more of our lessons before we will go to the next Yes, Welcome to my kitchen. I just baked this apple pie and I'd like to share it with three friends. That means I need to cut the pie into four pieces so everyone gets the same amount. Look at this apple pie. What shape is it? It's a circle, right? Shapes can be divided into parts or shares. Sometimes the shares are equal. If I cut the pie like this, my friends and I will have an equal share of the pie. Sometimes the... Welcome to my kitchen. I just baked this apple pie, and I'd like to share it with three friends. That means I need to cut the pie into four pieces so everyone gets the same amount. Look at this apple pie. What shape is it? It's a circle, right? Shapes can be divided into parts or shares. Sometimes the shares are equal. If I cut the pie like this, my friends and I will have an equal share of the pie. Sometimes the shares are not equal. If I cut the pie like this, we will not have equal shares. Some will have larger shares than the others. Now look closely at these shapes. Which shape is divided into equal shares? It's the circle. It's divided into two equal shares. The other shapes do not have equal shares. What about these shapes? That's right. The rectangle is divided into three equal shares. Now that we know more about equal shares, let's look at my pie again. I want to cut my pie into four equal shares. I'll cut it like this. I hope my friends like the pie. I wish I could share it with you. See you soon. All right, so you just watched our video. I hope you can actually like watch it again if you want it. So you 
can understand more of our lesson. Okay? Great job, grade 1. You just finished one lesson of unit 15. You are now ready to welcome another lesson for tomorrow. Thank you so much. And make sure to take picture with the answered pages of your lessons and send it to our WhatsApp group. You can use and you can use and check your weekly plan so you can see what are the lessons in each day. Okay? So, thank you and have a great day.